Tesla did it again. They came out with a software update and guess what it did? It broke the CTEC or Electron CCS adapter yet again. I've got a new firmware update from the company, so we'll find out if it works. Join me, won't you? Okay, so I updated to a Tesla software uh, 2021 40.6, thinking, oh, this is awesome. This is very cool. Now we have waypoints. I'm so excited. It's updating, it's updated. Oh, the waypoints are so cool. I'm doing videos on it. Oh, but wait a minute. I found out a few days later that a couple of our viewers actually here on Tesla Tips and Trips um, alerted me to the fact that uh, it did in fact break the Electron or CTEC CCS adapter yet again. This is the second time now. And that's why this is a kind of a different video because the first time, okay, uh, Tesla's not happy with it. They turned it off. CTEC found a workaround. As far as I understand, the workaround is they are trying to spoof their CCS adapter into telling the Tesla that it's actually a Chatamo, and that's their workaround. So uh, here we are on the second go around of this, and uh, Tesla did in fact disable it. It didn't work. A couple of my uh, viewers alerted me to that fact, and uh, I believe them. I didn't test that. But what I did do is I reached out to the company, CTEC, and said, hey, it's not working again. Um, do you guys have a, a fix? Within 12 hours, they sent me a link to their latest firmware, which is 163-1. There's also a 163, but I, I loaded up uh, firmware 163-1. I'm heading to our local uh, Electrify America to test it out and see if it actually works. And uh, I guess we'll find out and see. Now, here's the problem. This seems to be now a official cat and mouse game between CTEC or Electron, that's the US distributor, uh, and Tesla. So Electron or CTEC is gonna keep coming out with workarounds and fixes, and Tesla is gonna keep disabling it for whatever their reason is. Uh, we don't have official word from Tesla. One other YouTuber was able to get something out of uh, a Tesla person not officially or anything like that, but they say there or claim there's a, a safety issue uh, involved with the CTEC uh, CCS adapter. I don't see how. It turns everything off. It uh, cuts the power before you pull the plug. I'm not sure exactly what the problem is. And I've never had a problem uh, charging with the thing. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I do think, here's, here's my theory. Uh, everyone knows, or if you don't know, they are coming out with their own CCS adapter, Tesla that is. So maybe they don't want any competition and they're squashing CTEC like a bug. And they're, they're deciding, you know what? We've got our own adapter. We wanna deal with our own adapter. We don't want um, any third party stuff out there. Um, not exactly legal or on the up and up, but hey, uh, that's my theory. That's what could be going on here and not necessarily a uh, safety issue. I gotta be honest, the CTEC adapter is built pretty well. Uh, they don't just make adapters. This is not some weird Chinese off, uh, one-off product. They build like entire charging stations. So, I mean, they know their way around electricity. That's that's for sure. So, um, when is the CCS adapter coming out from uh, Tesla? Well, the good news is uh, it's in South Korea already. It's been distributed, it's being used, and they use the same standard, the same plugs, the same outlets, all that other stuff as we use here in North America. So if it's there, it's gotta be coming here soon. Um, there are rumblings that it could be happening any day now. Um, I am on the, on the lookout for one of these things. The second it drops, I wanna, I wanna buy one so I can test it here on the channel and uh, let you know how it works and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So when that happens, um, my feeling is this, the CTEC adapter is probably just gonna, it's gonna die a miserable death because they're looking at, you know, $560 for this thing. Um, if you go to the Electron site and the rumor is based on the South Korea price, we're gonna be in the 200, 250 range uh, from the official one from Tesla. So who's gonna buy the $560 one when you could buy two of the other one and, and, be, and call it a day? And, put it in each of your cars if you've got two Teslas, for instance. So um, there you go. I'm headed to the charger and I will meet up with you there. Um, hopefully it will work because I, I really do want it to work. So uh, 
Stick around. Kind of funny here. I'm in a, uh, I'm the meat in a Volt sandwich. There's a Gen 1 Volt in front of me, which is the car that uh, I upgraded from. In fact, that color and everything, although that's an early model. That's got a black hatch and uh, mine was fully gray. And then there's a, a Gen 2 uh, Volt behind me. So uh, I'm the meat. They're the bread, I guess. Yeah, that's a good sign. Good sign for sure. Initiating charging. Looks like we're good to go. Let's go check the inside of the car. Okay, this is a good sign. Everything is running. Let me uh, bump this limit up so we can actually get some charge in here. Um, it looks like the um, the SeaTech uh, adapter is once again working. This was a quick turnaround. I have to say, I'm impressed with um, SeaTech and their response time because the Tesla update of 2021.40.6 um, came out about a week ago or so. And I was able to uh, contact the company after hearing that it wasn't working. And like I said, within 12 hours, they sent me a link to the firmware. This wasn't listed on their website as of this recording. So it must be coming out in the next couple of days. They wanted me to test it. I got the link. I uh, updated the firmware on the, uh, the adapter. By the way, the um, update process is painless. It's 30 seconds and you do need a Windows PC, unfortunately. Um, so if you don't have one of those, it's definitely going to be a little more difficult to, to keep updating like this. But honestly, you got a Windows PC lying around. It's a 30 second process to uh, upload the firmware. Um, it's yet to fail on me. It's been great. So that regard, uh, it's been good. And dealing with the company, they're very responsive. Um, they're in China. So you got to expect a sort of a half a day delay or, or whatever, but they're always on it. Um, so in that regard, very good uh, customer service, very quick. And uh, so there you go. The latest uh, Tesla software disabled the SeaTech Electron adapter, and then they turned around and did their firmware. I'm on 163-1, and uh, we are currently charging uh, without a problem here at Electrify America. I'm gonna let it charge for a little bit since I came down here. Check it out, we're still going, still charging. 69% state of charge, Oop, just flipped over to 70. So good stuff adapter once again working glad to see it because this adds a level of choice when you're out and about one last thing i wanted to mention uh since we're playing this cat and mouse game with uh, tesla's uh, software updates and then the c-tech uh, situation it really makes it difficult to count on this adapter. Um, let's say you're heading out on a road trip and you decide that, you know, you, you have a Tesla software update. You update your car, not thinking that it might disable the SeaTech adapter. You head out on the road trip, you got a supercharger that's full in the same parking lot. You got Electrify America. You want to just go ahead and plug in and boom, it's been disabled. So now you got to carry around your PC if you don't uh, already do that. Um, and update the uh, the firmware if the firmware has been updated to uh, combat the the uh, the latest Tesla software update. So yeah, this is a cat and mouse game. It's not cool. Um, it's kind of annoying when you're counting on such an adapter like this. And uh, so just wanted to put that two cents worth out there as well. Um, so there you go. It is back to working under those circumstances, those version numbers. This is a moving target. I'm constantly trying to keep up with all this stuff. And thank you to the, the viewers that alerted me that it wasn't working 
And uh, now it is, I'm happy to report. Thanks once again for watching Tesla Tips and Trips. I truly appreciate each and every one of you hitting that subscribe button, the like buttons definitely help, and of course the bells notify you of any time we've come out with something new. And uh, lately it's been about the SeaTech adapter. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we'll have some new stuff coming out soon. I do have a surprise coming to the channel. I am so, so excited, hint, hint, wink, wink. What could it be? Um, so thank you once again. And uh, we will catch you on the next video. Tesla Tips and Trips.